Hello, I am Mr. Neons, and today we're gonna look into the future of the finals. What we can expect from Embark when it comes to new maps, character customization, modes, and of course new gameplay mechanics. I've also made a gameplay montage, I've timestamped the video, so if you don't want to hear me talk, you just want to see some awesome gameplay, I made it a bit easier for you. Like and subscribe. Alright, so let's kick it off with maps. We already know that Embark makes at least some maps based on uh, real life locations, or like their version of that location. As of now we have Monaco and Seoul. I don't know if the new map in the latest beta, Skyway Stadium, is based upon a real location. I haven't found anything about it, so if you know, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, the, the devs have said it made sense to travel the world because this is a game show. And I agree, you know, I think the game show theme they are going for is genius on so many levels. Creating maps is one of them. I bet we are going to see some interesting versions of places we already know. On the Embark podcast, one of the map designers talked about how they want the maps to be grounded in reality. Like, they don't want to call it realism, but they need to be believable. And then he proceeds to say, that doesn't mean we have to make the Eiffel Tower be exactly like the Eiffel Tower. If we need extra stuff there, then we can add those things. But we shouldn't be doing crazy, crazy changes. When I was thinking about making this video, I was thinking about locations I want to see in the finals. And one of the like first things that came to mind, like first places that came to mind was Paris. I want to blow up the Eiffel Tower in the finals. And I visioned myself grapple hooking to a crumbling Eiffel Tower, like falling down because of the destruction in the game. Grapple hook that, I come swinging with of course my trusted breach charge barrel. And then I see some poor fellow falling down with the Eiffel Tower, and I send my barrel into his face and blow him up, me there. Maybe I even throw up 360 in there, you know? Like, we have never played. <laughs> it has never been in any games ever. Of course, maybe he's just using the Eiffel Tower as an example. I find it hard to believe that if they're going to travel the world, that we won't see Paris with the Eiffel Tower, especially since that is the thing he's like using as an example. You heard it there first, Paris confirmed in the finals in the future someday. It's not confirmed, I have no idea, but it's confirmed. If you want to speculate a bit about places we will see in the finals, the place I most want to see is Tokyo. Like Tokyo at night, maybe maybe it's raining a bit. Like I am Mr. Neons after all, you know? Yet again, there's no way that they are traveling the world and they are not going to make a game show version out of Tokyo. It has to happen. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see, which places do you want them to make like a version out of in the finals? Comment down below. Other than that, they want to have a variety both visually and from a gameplay point of view. They explain it by saying we players have different favorite playstyles and they want to make different maps that fit those playstyles. That way we will get maps that play differently which is a really good way to approach map design, in my opinion. And like they said, it will give us more variety, you know? On the podcast, they got a question from a Discord user, if they're going to add more interactables to the maps, and if we are ever going to see the Wrecking Ball shown in the first trailer. And the response? First of all, Sebastian. Sebastian was the Discord user. If you only knew how many crazy things we have been trying out so far, some good, some pretty bad, we actually had a jet-driven platform cannon that shoot players all over the map for a while. That didn't really pan out. But two of our pillars in the finals is dynamic and intuitive. We actually have a list of cool and interesting things that we really believe can spice up the game and the game show moving forward. So we are working on them. Of course there will be a wrecking ball. I mean, why on earth would you play a game about destruction, dynamism without a wrecking ball? Cannons? was working in the latest beta, but a wrecking ball would be pretty nice. To me, all of this sounds really good. I think we can expect some really cool maps from Embark in the future that not only look differently than the ones we already played, but also play differently and cater to different types of play styles. And with new gameplay mechanics added to the map itself. Moving away from maps and to character customization, we have the same idea uh, for for clothing as they have for maps. They want the clothing to be grounded in reality. So they have no plans on adding like anime characters to the game like you see in Fortnite as an example. Uh, one of the devs actually briefly talked about this in the Discord. He also pointed out that they might have like anime inspired clothing. But uh, yeah, we will still play as real people, you know. To me, at least, this is very good news. I like that they can have over the top things because yet again it fits the game show theme. I'm telling you man, it's 
genius, but it is going to be believable clothing and not a bunch of famous movie characters running around on the map. We have enough of those games already, you know. When it comes to new modes, we really have no idea what they're planning. Other than that, they have tried more traditional game modes and they always came back to like the cash out mode, you know? I don't think it means that we won't see like a, a version of the tr traditional game modes in the game at some point. Uh, I think they just want to like focus on that type of mode on release because it fits how the finals plays better. But I'm pretty sure that they have looked into the future and I pre I'm pretty sure that they know they are going to have to like add more modes eventually. We might see limited time modes like we do in a lot of games. Uh, it, it is also a good way to like test different ideas and if they really want this game to, to last forever they need to like they need to change it up after a while you know. And last but not least new gameplay mechanics. Yet again on the podcast they got the question if they are going to add new specializations and if so what kinds and my man rob answers again we have looked into the future and we have again a list of things we want to try we will continue to try things forever we are a live game we are in it for the long run we want to build a game now this is the interesting part we want to build a game that can live for 20 50 years. I want this to be my last game I play. Okay, maybe I would play our creators as well, but that's how good this game should be. We have a long list of specializations, weapons, gadgets, playstyle, dynamic features that we will add to the game in the future. Again, this is the ultimate game show and everything can and if it makes the game fun, more fun and better, should happen. Everything that enhanced gameplay should be in the game. There's no shocking news that we that we are going to get more specializations, gadgets, weapons. They have already like a list of things they want to add to the game in the future. I'm rooting for Embark Studios. We need more games like the finals that are actually ground breaking. We are heading over to the gameplay but before we do if you enjoyed the video remember to smack that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I upload. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, let me know your predictions, let me hear your hopes for the future of the finals. Enjoy!